Hey, what's up guys? Really happy to be back with Technique Tuesday today. Hope everyone had a great holiday weekend um, and enjoyed watching the 2021 Pan American Championships. Um, that is gonna be the topic of today's Technique Tuesday. I'm very happy and proud for uh, my little big brother, Victor Hugo, for earning his first major Gi IBJJF title. Um, and he won the final with some beautiful timeless jiu-jitsu. And it was even a little more special for me because I actually won my own pan final uh, with a very, very, very similar technique that he used. And that's what I wanna talk about today, all right? Looking at the closed guard sweep that Victor used to set up his finish, um, something that we both have definitely been learned or have been inspired and learned from Shanji Hibeto, all right? So got one of my purple belts, uh, Michael, help us out today. Let's jump in and take a look. So we're gonna be basing all of this on the flower sweep. And in fact, around here, the flower sweep, you know, we, we uh, relate that so much to Shanji that we actually call it the Shanji sweep, all right? Um, he did this to Marcelo Garcia in 2004 beautifully, and it's just kind of stuck ever since as the Shanji sweep, all right? So the sweep itself is very basic, but there are so many great things that can come off this sweep, even if it's a failed attempt, all right? So let's just review the sweep here first. Actually, let me turn it a little bit this way, okay? So I'm gonna control the sleeve on one side, and with my other hand, I'm gonna control the pants down at the bottom of his leg, okay? as close to the ankle as possible, so I have a little more leverage to pull and push his leg over with me, all right? So I'm gonna get a very low grip, and now I'm gonna place my foot on the floor on the same side where I have the sleeve, all right? And I like to roll my knuckles into the arm like a fist, so then when he wants to try to base his hand, I can follow and keep it really tight, okay? After I place my foot on the floor, I swivel my hips just a little bit, okay? So I don't want to be too square. I definitely don't want my hips facing that way. You're naturally already going to kind of get your hips out when you crunch down and get this hand grip. And so I just want to make sure I, I have this angle, okay? So now my right leg can come and kick high in his armpit, okay? I'm looking to bring his head forward and kick him over to the side as I pull his leg up to my head. From here, now I can push the leg get on my elbow, and come up for the mounted sweep, all right? Very simple, low risk, and a lot of great things set up from this, okay? Now, Victor has been using this in his game a lot, and he has uh, some other variations that he likes to play with. Sometimes, you know, with the foot of the hip, when you're working for an arm bar, we can do the same kind of motion to get the sweep. And uh, obviously, Victor has very big legs, and so his sweep is extremely strong, all right? But what is our normal reaction from here, okay? When I take out this arm and I go to hit this sweep, he only has one arm to base with, all right? That one, okay? And a lot of times, it's not enough to stop. We can still kick, we can pull the leg and get them to fall. But if it does happen to stop us, now, we put ourselves in a great position. I have lots of attacks here. I mean, a lot of times I can still come up and attack this arm, get a high guard. Maybe that arm comes out, there's a triangle there. A lot of different options, okay? But at the very least, what happened is now I've managed to get that arm across my body with very little work, okay? And what happened in Victor's final, is as soon as he hit that sweep, he did the great thing of sitting up and getting his right arm deep around his opponent's back, all right? So he immediately set up and grabbed hard around the back, okay? So this kind of sets me up to climb to the back, right? I'm now behind this arm, and even if Alan Michael tried to come back and his arm got stuck here, I still can keep this angle, keep swiveling, and working my side closed guard where I can climb to the back, all right? Very much Shanji Hibeto style right here, okay? But what happened, Victor came up so strong and was already lifting himself up that when this person tried to find a place to put this arm, they couldn't go around, they ended up going over Victor's head, okay? 
And it was kind of like this, all right? So from here, he did a great job of finding his far hook right away and basically just ducking his head out. So my right foot starts to come in. I've already made my first hook down here. Now I've latched on and I can get my head out, okay? And the guy kind of attempted to fall over and they landed a little bit here with Victor sprawled out on him. And then Victor went me coming around the head and getting an RNC finish right away, all right? Uh, which is another thing that I liked, you know, having that, that uh, aggressiveness to just go for the choke right away, get your arm around. You know, a lot of times we always want to use a lapel in the gi, and we forget about RNCs. For sure, it ended up being a little bit of a crank, but, uh, you know, many times that's what it takes, right? It's just the intention, go for it, grab it, squeeze, get the job done. Um, so, once again, it was all set up from the flower sweep, okay? Big kick, you know, pulling, everything. And when we get that base, like I said, now we're behind it, essentially, all right? I've crossed his arm, okay? So, like I said, the best thing Victor did here is he didn't stay down. Right after he kicked, he immediately let go and set up strong, grabbing around, uh, towards the lap, getting on his elbow, so he's uh, way more mobile and explosive, able to make that first switch to get his knee towards the floor. Now here, when the guy tried to correct everything, he had no other place to put the arm but to try to grab Victor's head. And all Victor had to do to stay on top was just find that far hook. Turn around this way a little bit, okay? So from here, Victor felt, found that far hook right away, so he got to lock himself on, kind of shrug it off, and now he's ended up on top, already working for the head, you know, ended up kind of sprawling almost belly down right here and getting the finish, all right? It was beautiful. And like I said, it reminded me of a way that I won a pan final way back in 2008. Um, and uh, it was in the last minute of a crazy match where I got put in the triangle for like four minutes and uh, managed to fight it off, escape, start to come back, and we ended up in a close guard in the last 30 seconds, and I hit a very similar sequence um, to get to the back as well and get the victory, all right? So here's the difference. The one that I did, all the same, but when I hit it, I let go of this arm, to block this one, just to make sure it doesn't come back. Now, when I let go of the pants and the person tries to come back to face me, I swivel and keep that arm down as I made my, my grip around my body. Okay, just like this. All right, so very, very similar. Uh, Victor's is a little more dynamic. Mine is a little more, uh, you know, with some steps, right? So here, now I have the option to take the back, but my opponent actually kind of re-corrected their weight and they put too much of their weight right back on top of me, okay? To keep me from getting to the back. But now, with the arm across, they're off balance, they're vulnerable to getting swept to this side. So I just keep everything tight and now I'm gonna kick the floor the other side and kick in the armpit with the other leg to get the sweep the other way, all right? And very similar thing happened. I, I landed on top of the arm already crossed. The person tried to turn, and I ended up getting the back as well, all right? Let's look at that variation again. Okay, same thing. We have our grips, foot on the floor, big kick. Now, I switched. I looked to make my position to get to the back. As they came on top, always be ready to go with this momentum. All right, as soon as, if I'm on this angle, as soon as this butt cheek hits the floor and he drives me down, there's my kick to take him the other way. And once again, that put me on the back, all right? So this is a very safe, efficient way to attack and make an angle from your guard. Either you sweep them or they're gonna have to base and then we can get behind that arm and create a nice angle to attack more sweeps back takes, submissions, you know, um, 
uh, many, many great things come out of this, all right? And then you can start playing with, with using the other sleeve, all right? Now when I kick and he bases with that arm, now I have the triangles, I have the moplatas, and a lot of stuff. And no one really ever likes to let you hold a sleeve in this way. And so if I hold this sleeve and he goes to, to break my grip, now I can get the other sleeve, all right? So then we have some different hand fighting options to set everything up, all right? So, um, you know, for me, it's a must have uh, in your arsenal, in your game. There's uh, nothing bad that's gonna come out of trying it. And if it works, something great is gonna happen for you. You're gonna land in a great spot where you're gonna have a finish, all right? Um, so between 13 years, 2008, 2021, you see this work in a pan final, all right? Um, I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, catch up on the matches. Make sure you watch Victor, Victor Hugo doing this if you haven't already. And we wish him a big congratulations, all right? Thanks, guys. Happy Technique Tuesday.